Hello, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be trying out the OG, the brand that started all, IOPE New Air Cushion. Yay! So IOPE just released their new formulation of their air cushion. They have one in natural and one in cover. Obviously the natural one is more hydrating, it gives more of a natural finish, whereas the coverage gives you full coverage and a matte finish. When I saw this, I was so excited that I just purchased it right away. I didn't even think twice. For both cushion, I got the shade 21 and in vanilla. I think today I'm gonna be trying the natural air cushion and I'm gonna try the cover cushion tomorrow. This is a natural, I'm just gonna open it up. The cushion looks like this. How slick is the packaging? Very soft, very velvety. Oh, it's like magnetic too. This is the pump. It just seemed like your typical cushion pump. Very bouncy. And on this side, there is a seal that you have to peel off. Just like the Laneige Neo Cushion, you have to twist it and it pops right up. It's not one of those old fashioned ones where you have to push it from the back. You just twist it and pop it up. Very easy to use. So for the purpose of this experiment, I'm going to apply primer and powder on one side and I'm just going to apply the product on the other side. Alright, so let me apply primer on this side. This is the same primer that I've always used. This is the Jessup Jess Jess One Veil Firster. This primer spreads very easily, so a little goes a long way with this primer. Primer is on and then now I'm going to zoom you in. Is that, is that close enough? Is that close enough? I feel like this is close enough. All right, let's open this. I've only used IOPE cushion once and I got it at a home shopping channel in Korea and it wasn't that great. After trying a product from home shopping, I don't think I'm gonna purchase makeup from home shopping again. I feel like the quality is different. So I don't know how like a true IOPE cushion is. So. Pretty much, it's my first time trying out the brand. All right, so I'm gonna open the seal. I can get the tab. Ta da! This is how it looks like. So, here is the first dippity do, the first dab. Ta da! Ooh, smells, smells fresh. Kind of reminds me of Huxley. Mm, no. There's a bit of citrus. Smells nice, smells nice. Let's apply it on the non-primer side first. Okay, I think the color matches. Usually I get 23, but I haven't been going out. I got a lighter shade. It looks pretty good. Wow, that's nice. It has a nice natural glow. I'm just gonna grab some more. Because it didn't. It didn't cover my whole face yet. Wow, it looks really, really good. And I feel like it's not too pale. Like, it doesn't ghost out my skin, so the color is good. It looks like it matches my neck. And the natural glow is beautiful. Wow. And also the coverage is pretty good. It gives a really natural coverage. And this was just one layer. I didn't apply another layer. I feel like I don't need to apply another layer because it just looks so good natural and it looks so good. I'm very impressed right now. So this is how it looks zoomed out. Very nice. It it looks okay with my neck. Wow, very pale. I didn't realize I was this pale. I'm never 21, but I guess I am now. Okay. All right, so this is the difference. Let's apply on this side now. So I applied on both sides. It looks pretty good. There's no difference with the primer side and non-primer side. It's still applied very evenly. And even under the um, under my eyes, there's no creasing, no dryness. Um, it actually did a pretty good job covering my dark circles. It's peeking through just a little bit. I'm just gonna apply around my nose and anywhere that needs a little bit more coverage.
So I just applied it around my nose and around my mouth area because it's pretty dark. It didn't cake up. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look too heavy. It looks really good. I'm really impressed. I thought if I apply a second layer, it's gonna, you know, cake up, but it didn't do it didn't do that. Um, so now I'm gonna powder only this side of my face. I'm using my favorite Apute Oil Control Film Pack. So I powdered my face, the powder obviously took away some of the glow, not all of it. It's still a little bit there, but it's not as amazing as this side. So I'm going to be wearing this all day, and then I'll check in with you throughout the day to see how it's doing. So right now it is 8.10 in the morning, and we'll see how this cushion does. Hello, hello everyone! It is now 12, and I just want to give you a little update on how the cushion is doing. So let me just take off my mask. Let's see if it transferred. Here we go. It transferred a little bit. It's very obvious. It rubbed off a lot around here and around here. There is creasing underneath the eye. I kind of like the non-powder side better than the powder side powder side kind of made my skin look really dry I don't know if you could see that but here it just looks really dry and patchy and there is more creasing on this side than on this side um, feel wise obviously the powder side feels more dry on the non powder sides it feels very comfortable so that was just my little update and at the end of the day I'll show you how it is alright so I just came back from work it is 9 14 let me show you my face alright so right away, right away you could see that I am very very shiny on both sides. Wherever my mask touched, it just completely rubbed off. And this is how my mask looks like. My dark circles are now peeking through. But to be fair, underneath the eye, I did have to re remove the mascara that was smudging underneath. So that's why it kind of rubbed off. But in the inner corners it's peeking through and I didn't touch the inner corners so there's that I'm gonna say my final thoughts at the end of the video but I want to mention that it didn't matter if I powdered and primed my skin um, they both gave a same result today's day two of testing out IOPE new air cushion yesterday I tried the air cushion natural and today I'm gonna be trying out the cover alright so this is how it looks like I got 21 and vanilla Let's open it up here is the packaging. The natural is silver and the cover is gold. It is the cushion. So this is the cushion. Oh, this is brown. So I noticed the difference between the cushion is that the cover is brown and the natural is white. I don't know why that's the case. Maybe this cushion gives better coverage compared to this one. But just like the look and the feel of it, it seems like it's the same thing. I guess we'll find out. Alright, so I'm just going to open the seal now. And just like yesterday, I'm going to prime this side and set it with a powder. Alright, I just applied my primer. Now, let's go for the first dippity dube dab. Here it is. Oh, I got a good amount. I'm going to do this side first. It's giving coverage all right. Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get more. Wow. Okay, so this cushion is giving coverage. It's you can see the difference. None of the redness, my dark circles, everything is just covered. The darkness around my mouth, it's just all covered. Wow. I mean, it's not like heavy, you know, remarkable. Do people still use remarkable? But it's not that like thick, full, 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 full coverage. But it's giving really nice, it's giving nice coverage. So this is just one and a half layer of the cushion foundation. And I say one and a half because the first layer I applied was very very thin and it didn't you know reach everywhere so 
one and a half layers and it looks really really good it covered everything so it's supposed to have a matte finish but I don't think it's 100% matte it still gives that little bit of glow I don't know if you can see it but a bit of glow is peeking through so I feel like when a Korean product says it's matte I don't really expect 100% matte there will be a bit of glow which I don't mind I don't like like a full matte so I like this matte if you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So let's apply on this side. I don't think I'm gonna go over with another layer because it did an amazing job covering everything that it needs to be covered. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply on this side. So on this side, I have redness around here, darkness, there's acne scars, a lot of acne scars over here, dark circles, more acne. So let's see if it'll cover it. I'm taking this much product and then I'm going to see if it's going to cover this side of my face. Okay, so the amount of showy was able to cover um, half of my face. I don't think this product was able to cover like darker acne spots. But the redness that was up here is covered. This is how it looks like up close. I'm going to grab a little bit more and see if it will cover my acne scars around my jaw. I'm grabbing this much. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I think with the second layer, it did a better job covering the acne scars that was around here. I'm trying to see <laughs> and show you at the same time, it's very hard, but here it is. You can see it, can you see it, can you see it? Alright, so let's just powder this side of my face now. Using the same powder, the Apute Oil Control Film Pack. My favorite, favorite powder. Alright, so I just applied my powder. And as you could see, the powder mattified the foundation. It doesn't look that bad, but I don't like powdering my face because it just enhances the texture on my skin. Whereas the non-powder side really smooths out my skin. So I really don't like to powder my whole face. The only part I would powder is probably my eyelids because as you could see, it's already creasing. Normally, I don't powder my face. I think my foundation... Um, still last pretty long without powder and if I do powder my face it's usually around my t-zone area and my eyelids okay right now it is 9 53 I'm probably gonna be wearing this again for 12 hours because I finished work around 9 so I'll check in throughout the day to show you how it's doing all right so I'm home now I just came back from work I couldn't check in midday because I was really busy with work. Let's just see how my cushion is. Alright, so hopefully you could see. Just like the natural cushion, the mask did rub off most of the product. Well, as you can see here, it's rubbed off around my nose and on this side. Let me show you my mask. This much of the product has transferred onto the mask. There are less product on the powder side compared to the non-powder side. I must say though, it's not as greasy as the natural one. Yesterday my forehead was like very very oily but it looks shiny and oily but it's not. It did crease underneath the eye and my dark circles are peeking through a little bit. It is not as hydrating as the natural one. Um, my skin does feel a bit tight so I think that this cushion is suited for more oily skin. Alright, so let me tell you what I think about the cushion. I'm gonna start with the natural. First, I love that it was hydrating enough for the winter. Therefore, it was very comfortable to wear. This didn't make my skin feel tight or dry. Um, it was, again, very comfortable to wear. I also love the glow that it gives. The glow really helps my skin look healthy and bright. I also love the natural coverage that it gives. Um, because it gives a natural coverage, it gives that no makeup makeup look. If I didn't have to wear a mask every day, this would have been a perfect foundation because the mask... 
um, rubbed off some of the products I would have to touch up throughout the day the only downside to this foundation is the creasing it creased on my eyelids and underneath my eyes so with this foundation I'll probably spot powder wherever it's needed next I'm gonna be talking about the air cushion cover first I was shocked by the coverage that it gave me um to be honest I didn't really expect this to be like a full coverage but it did an amazing job covering my acne spots acne scars um, pigmentation and redness therefore whenever I have days when I need that extra coverage I will definitely be grabbing this one this product didn't make my skin feel oily however because it's winter time because my skin is very dry this product did make my skin feel tight and dry therefore I'm gonna be trying this again in the summertime when my skin is more oily so overall I'm very happy with these two products I would have to try the cover one in the summertime and with the natural I am very happy with it I like that it didn't dry out my skin um, it just sucks that it rubbed off with my mask. I will continue to use the Air Cushion Natural um, and see how it does once I finish it. I will be doing a review on it, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!